again, uh, this time uh, book fans. I am here to do a, a couple of an overview of two books by Peter Benchley. That's right, Peter Benchley, best known for writing Jaws, you know, the book upon which the classic movie is based on. Even though I'm not going to review that book, you know, because that is very, very well known. And I have read it. It's a very, very good book. Not as good as the movie, you know, but, but it is very good. Uh, some people don't like it because they they feel it goes much uh, much more into the, the melodrama than into the shark attacks, you know. Uh, but I think it has a lot to offer. But anyway, we're here to talk about two books by Peter Benchley that were mildly successful, one of which was also turned into a movie that not nearly as successful as Jaws. Uh, and we're talking about The Beast and White Shark. Okay, so let's talk about Beast first. Beast is his attempt, you know, blatant attempt to rewrite Jaws here by the author of Jaws that says right here and there have been a multitude of Jaws ripoffs you know and so why not have the author himself rip himself off this time with a giant squid okay so it's not a spoiler because it's right there on the cover okay so what's uh, really cool about this is that it has a uh, you know the the same structure as you know Jaws, but with a bit of a different tone to it, as we are, the the giant squid in question is explained in a much more scientific way, you know, because it is a very huge squid, and all of the the reasons why it has suddenly come up from the depths and is now attacking people, you know, those are also explained in the book, you know, with a, shall we say, zoological uh, knowledge that that Peter Bentley himself had because because even though he was not an oceanographer himself he did do a lot of studies into the field all right plus he also traveled the world um, uh, scuba diving and also he also hosted many uh, documentaries about sea life all right so Beast has uh, this is a pulp novel completely and it does deliver it delivers on the kills it delivers on the giant monster. It has a pr pretty damn good characterization. You know, there is not a dull moment here. Pretty cool book, Beast. I do recommend it. If you like Pulp Fiction, if you like giant monsters. Okay, the next one is Total Clickbait by Peter Benchley. This is White Shark. Now you're saying, okay, Peter Benchley, really? Really? White Shark? you calling that what well, the reason I say it's clickbait it's because even though there is a white shark in this book it is not the main theme of the book and that is what that is which is referred to as white shark is a not really uh, a great white shark you know so this one mixes elements of uh, of uh, really pulp fiction science fiction and the, the thriller, the sea thriller that he is uh, so good at. There's also an attack by a, an ocean creature, and this time I won't uh, um, spoil what it is. It's not a white shark, okay? It's something else. But also, Peter Bessley de delivers on the characters. He delivers on the, the, the kills and the suspense right there. And also on the ambience, you know, because he's very knowledgeable about... Um, uh, not only the the sea itself but about um, sailing you know and the diving and all of the technical uh, minutiae that goes along with it even though to his credit he never bogs down the story with those uh, details neither here nor in beast by the way here's a picture of the author looking very debonair Likewise, here in the back, Benchley is a master. A master of the sea thriller, no doubt. Okay? So, highly recommend these. If you like stories about sea creatures um, attacking people, which I do. Okay? Peter Benchley, White Shark, and Beast. Thank you very much for watching, and keep reading.